Uh, what components stood out for me in the 90s? Yeah, that, um, yeah that's a good question, is that? Uh, love Mavic rims. If you got a pair of Mavic rims, that was amazing. But most people, you knew someone who had a pair of Mavic rims. Or Hope Hubs, yeah, they were pretty cool. Come and all the cool anodized colours as well. When you're doing paper round wages and stuff like that, um, our our expenditure was quite limited, so changing a few little components on your bike was like a big deal, like your mech or something like that, and maybe changing your shifters. I was like a pods kind of guy. I love pods. I, I couldn't really get on with grip shifting. I didn't really like them. They come out in all these crappy, fancy colours and stuff like that, and I was not really. They weren't really my cup of tea. Today another video but I'm spoiled for choice, it's been like Christmas at my house this week, um, I am a D-Bay quite a lot last week and now I'm feeling it, every day I'm woke up by the doorbell with a postman with another package, um, it's a nice feeling but crap to get woken up, anyway never mind, I've got loads of new bits, I went a bit mad, someone put a load of stuff on eBay, um, a bulk buy, buy three packs for like 15 quid for a different colour assorted grip shift grips but then there was he had some blue ones which I wanted for another build and but the blue ones came as a package deal with the red ones so that's perfect I've got a right idea for them um, so yeah I've got an absolute abundance of these these are ones for uh, coming up in a future video as well these will be going on my Dave Hemming build which will be nice well, along with the Fox so but today we're doing a little update um, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a few other bits to come and they've finally arrived so we're going to get on with the first stages of building the fat chance you already it's been like years of wanting one finally got one it's been like eight months since it arrived I've been searching out little bits um, I finally managed to get a set of forks for it um, the forks had to be um, altered slightly because it came in an inch and an eighth and I needed to put an inch steer into it so we've had them at a machine shop They've been TIG welded up nicely so you can't even tell and we've been repainted. We've managed to find quite a suitable colour match for the to spray the forks into the same as the frame so it'll look quite because when I first got the forks they were in the aqua blue, aqua green, aqua, 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 aqua apple. Aqua, aqua apple, aqua something. Anyway, something like that. So they're now sprayed, they're very, very similar. I'm really happy with them. They've been a DIY job. I'll give you the colour names that I got from Halfords, so if anyone is looking to touch up one, you, know, you might see these and think, oh, I'll, I'll use, I'll copy it, I'll use the same. Anyway, that's by the by. So we've got a few bits now, we haven't got a full build on this one yet, I'm still a long, long way off them. But I'm going to have a rummage around because I'm getting a little bit impatient, so we'll have a look in the loft, see what else we've got. Uh, so we should have a few bits going together on that today, which would be nice, um, for you guys to see. I suppose let's put this lot away. Right, so just a quick recap, eight months ago we managed to bag ourselves a proper fat chance Yo Eddie. Uh, absolutely stoked, I love the colour, I wasn't as keen to start with, I really wanted the green one, but beggars cap choosers, they don't come up very often. So, more than happy with this, we've got a selection of parts at the moment, um, I'll show you them parts and we'll give a quick whip over the frame. But this is as it stands at the moment, I've not cleaned it, I've not polished it, I've not tried restoring it, I've not done anything. It's got a couple of little chips on it, I'm happy to leave them for the sake of leaving all the original paintwork as it is. And notoriously, these can go around the bottom part. Uh, I just uh, There, hold on. There. Right, so this area here, notorious on these for, uh, for going through. I've seen quite a couple up here on eBay, I think the same one at least twice. Um, it's been powder coated and as they've shot blasted it, they've got pit holes here where it's damaged. I've seen another one on the Fat Chance. Um, Facebook page, there's practically a section missing here where it's all gone, but this one is absolutely rock solid, so intact, so happy, quite a bargain in my eyes, but some people it's quite eye watering, 450 quid just for the frame, but I was happy to pay that. Right, I'll show you the bits, here we go. Right, so laid out on the towel, some goodies for the build, we've got some proper segment forks, these I bought uh, in a different colour, they were the aqua fade. Um, they were an inch and an eighth steering tube, so between me and um, a local engineering company we converted them down to an inch steerer with threaded. Downside is when he's welded that part in for me, back into here, um, he's not aligned that with the back like I asked him to. Um, not a big deal, that's only for the uh, brake hanger. Brake hanger, bloody hell. Forgot I haven't bought a brake hanger yet, damn. Anyway, never mind, we've got some age appropriate um, 
cantilevers from Avid, they look cool. Um, some thummies from Shimano, some Dior ones. We've got a ringle stem, very nice. So also we've got a nice new chromed threaded headset, very nice. And a couple of bits I'm sitting on the fence with. I've got the purple outers, now they're new obviously, they're not, um, not old kind of stuff but I think they're quite cool for the colour, not 100% whether they're going to go on the bike or something else yet, kind of sitting on the fence. Um, early grips, again, sitting on the fence with these, I like them, are they for this bike, I'm not sure, but they're there just in case, um, that's where we are at the moment, that's what we've got to play with. Um, we've got one more part, that's it. Right, we'll try again, we'll keep boinging the camera on the floor, it's no good. Right, so there's a the bar, we're going to pinch this bar, there's a high polite bar that I've got lovely on uh, the fat chance. Um, at the moment, they have done it again. This bike, don't know what to do with, if anyone has any ideas of how old it is, or how to find out how old it is, I've researched it and I can't find it, hit us up in the comment section below. It's got some real cool old bits on, like I've never seen uh, a bash guard that big before, not to cover three rings, that's just mental. Uh, I don't know if they ever did it in this polished finish, or if this has been done after, and someone's put these decals on. But it is definitely a Trek, because it's got all the embossments there of the Trek. We know that. But how old, um, I have no idea. But anyway, in the meantime, it doesn't matter about that, we only want this. Lovely. Got that. So although this is a lovely retro build, we are actually using a new style headset here. So it is inch and it is threaded, but it's got cartridge bearings in. So they're a lot more serviceable. And the life expectancy of these is a lot better as well. I'm supposed to be riding today on Alvaro's bike, but it's absolutely bouncing down again. So I am going out there. Luckily, our Derna head tube was just the right length. Right, I'm not going to tighten these up properly yet because I haven't got a proper spanner yet. Um, I keep meaning to buy one after all these years of doing this, and I still keep, oh, well, I'll buy one next time. In the meantime, I just crank it with a pair of mole grips or something like that. But I'm not going to do this one. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to resist. So, just put it on hand tight for now and I'm going to order myself a proper headset spanner. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it today. Today, for definite. So there's the Fox on. They look absolutely lovely. I've even managed to put the decals on. i got some decals from over in the States. So they've even got them on in the right places. I'm really happy with that. That colour, I'll just have to show you this. So our Halfords colour match is pretty close for the Fox. Um, unless anyone knows the actual paint codes that they use on these Fat Chance bikes, that would be greatly appreciated. But if not, for now, let's send in the light where we can see it properly. That's pretty close. Happy with that. Something alright here. <sighs> the both the same hand. Someone on eBay has ripped me off. He's sent me two of the same hand. He advertised them as a pair. What good is a pair of lefts? How useless. Right guys, for this episode, that's it. What have we managed to achieve on the eight months on this bike? We've managed to get a headset in, no problem. We managed to source a set of forks and get them converted into inch from inch and an eighth and get them 
painted in a respectably close match. We managed to get some cool cantilevers. Um, I got the Ringle Inch Stem, which is going eye-wateringly high in price. I thought I'd better get one now before it goes even higher. The Hyperlite Bar, which we've just borrowed. And thank you very much, Mr. eBay, for the matching pair of thumb shifters. Yeah, right, I'm going to have to go get on to eBay now and see if I can find the opposite side for one, because I don't think I have one in the loft. In fact, I know I don't. I'm not even, I'm not even going to try and look. I'm going waste my time. I know I don't have one, so I'll have to buy one. Right, so in the meantime, that brings that project for today. To a close. I think I'm going to do another video in a minute, but you won't get to see that one until tomorrow. I'm probably going to start rebuilding the pace fox since the seals have finally arrived after the drop seller managed to get me them after like two weeks. I should have gone straight to pace, didn't think of that. So that's it for this video. I know they're only short, but if you like these videos, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Uh, and also, if you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you want to know every time that I upload a video straight away, click that little bell in the corner. And remember, this is a new channel for me, so all the support is greatly appreciated. Go on, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. I'm on a whole nother level Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Girl, I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together